Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna talk about SORCOM Beam, a data forwarding proxy service offering multiple benefits to IoT device management. Basically, you can just point your data to Beam and then manage those endpoints in the user console. Another really cool feature of Beam is it is also a protocol conversion proxy. Uh, this is an amazing way to, to offload a lot of overhead, a lot of encryption overhead from your device to the cloud. Let me show you how it works. In this example, I'm gonna show you how to send data from your IoT devices to an API service in the cloud. We're gonna configure those devices to send HTTP requests to the Beam service. And then I'm gonna show you how to configure Beam to translate those requests to HTTPS and then forward to my cloud server. Let's take a look. So here we are guys, this demo is so easy, it's almost ridiculous. Here's a components list on the hardware. I've got a WoW LTE Cat1 tracker board. We'll be programming that board with Arduino. Yes, that script will be available in the description field. And the sensor we're gonna be using is a temperature and humidity sensor from Seed Studio. I've got a simple Google Firebase deployment acting as our web server and database. And of course, we'll be tying this all together in the SORCOM user console. We do have this walkthrough on our website as well. I won't spend much time on that. Just note that link is also in the description. Here's my Firebase server. As you can see, nothing going on here. I've got an empty database, but I do want to point out this URI because you will be applying that in the SORCOM user console under the Beam configuration. Okay, let's go ahead and navigate to console.sorcom.io. And of course, if this is your first time seeing this, please pause this video and check out my AirSim registration video in our YouTube channel. Okay, let's go ahead and create a group for Beam. So click Menu, Groups, Add Group. I'm just going to call this Beam to Firebase. Click Create. And once you have created a group, it automatically drops you into the group configuration setting. So we just need to go to the beam section and just expand that. I'll click the little drop down under the plus sign and choose website entry point. It's going to ask you to give it a name. Uh, it can be any friendly name. I'll just call this Firebase. And I want to direct your attention to the entry point section. That host name is what you want to instruct your device to send data to. The port number is not necessary, but the host name is. So protocol is going to be HTTPS, of course. We want it to be translated to HTTPS. And the host name under that field is the web server, your web server, URI. Uh, in my case, it's Firebase. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And then pasting it into the host name section. The last thing I need to do is just specify the port, which of course is 443. And that's it. Let's just go ahead and scroll down and click Save. The next thing we need to do is simply add our SIM to the group we just created. So back on the SIM management page, I've got a SIM at the very bottom I've designated for this demo. I'm gonna go ahead and select it. As you can see, it's offline right now, uh, but you just need to select it and then go to the Actions button and go to Change Group, New Group, and I'm gonna choose the Beam to Firebase group we created, and then click Update. So I just plugged in my WIO board. It takes just a couple seconds to come online here. Let's just scroll to the top and click the Refresh button. And boom, there it is, online, uh, great. We have everything we need now. All I get to do at this point is open up Arduino and upload our script and actually start sending data. So again, I've got no data in my Firebase database. The SIM is online and I'm ready to go ahead and launch Arduino. As Arduino is launching, I just want to remind you that the sketch that I created for this is in the description field of this video. So let's go ahead and upload that sketch. I have it on my desktop here. Let's go ahead and select that. A couple things I want to point out here. Uh, the actual destination that I'm specified in this sketch to send data to. If you recall a couple minutes ago, I showed you in this Beam settings in the console that it's just HTTP beam.sorcom.io. You don't need to specify any other ports. One really interesting thing to note here is that with website entry point, uh, the, the URIs are automatically mapped from the original HTTP request to the forwarding destination. So you don't have to specify that path in the Beam console or the Beam configuration settings in the user console. So as you can see, as I expected, there's already data flowing. It really does happen super quick with this setup and the wild tracker. 
Um, I've got data flowing in here very quickly. I've got a 49% uh, humidity data, 74 degrees. And here's the URI path that I specified in the Arduino sketch you saw earlier, exactly what I expected to see here. So that's website entry point, guys. As you can see, very easy to configure SORCOM Beam to accept HTTP requests from a device and forward that to an HTTPS destination. And of course, that destination can be almost anything, whereas Funnel, we have direct integrations with certain cloud services. Beam is a little bit more general purpose. So that's Beam, a really powerful tool in the SORCOM toolbox. I hope this video was informative. For more information, please check out our developer site. And don't forget to stay tuned and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more video content. Thanks for watching.